It's one of the most famous and recognisable stadiums in world football. But Liverpool's Anfield, holding just over 54,000 people on every match day, is fast seeing the demand for tickets outweigh the supply. The adoration for England's most successful European club has hardly ever been higher, with Jurgen Klopp leading the team to a sixth Champions League triumph in June and a good start to the season seeing them take a healthy lead at the top of the Premier League table, where they're chasing their first English league title for 30 years. The club's official memberships, which promise opportunities for ticket access, are being sold at an overwhelming rate. A recent bulk sale saw over 100,000 members queue online for over four hours, with the vast majority missing out entirely. Liverpool are aware of the demand issue, and this week took the first steps in helping solve the problem. Designs for a new 16,000-seater Anfield road stand were unveiled, taking the proposed capacity of the whole stadium up by 7,000. And obviously getting into Anfield is pretty difficult, so getting those extra seats in, so we're talking about 7,000 extra seats, get, trying to get the capacity up to 61,000. We felt it was important to do everything we could to improve that design. It's not all plain sailing for the club and their plans, however. The unveiling of the designs were accompanied by public consultations for local residents, some of which aren't happy or in favour of the natural increased footfall in their area on a match day. It's a nightmare around there with traffic. Uh, just speaking to the enforcement fellow who's, who's in charge of all the traffic wardens, and I made the suggestion is that, well, your parking per the park, what's the point of having a parking permit system when you've got residents who are selling the, the visitors permits, you've got People who are still parking in the streets are madly seeing traffic wardens. There's a long way to go before the new stand opens its doors, but for most fans the future is looking bright with 6,000 more tickets going to general admission. However, it's the local residents, the people the club perhaps need most on their side, who have the issues. Ben Kelly, JMU Journalism.